BFM 89.9, I'm Audrey Raj with your World Cup Quickie. What a day it's been for Germany. First, Michael Schumacher is out of a coma. Then you've got Chancellor Angela Merkel in the stands and you whip Portugal 4-0 in your Group G opener. Thomas Müller with a hat-trick. And of course, all this was not helped by Portugal defender Pepe. First, he like rugby styles tackles Müller in the face. While Mueller's down on the floor, headbutts the poor dude, red card for him. Guess we won't be seeing him for the rest of the group stages. Moving on, more good news for Germany. Jurgen Klinsmann in his 50th match in charge of the US. They beat Ghana 2-1. Klin Dempsey scores what is the fifth fastest goal in the tournament. And Germany-born John Brooks, he seals the win for USA 2-1. USA. And finally, we knew it was coming. It's been raining goals at the World Cup and we now have a draw. Iran and Nigeria most probably played what has been the dullest match of the tournament. Less than 10 chances at goal between the sides. All this in front of booing fans. Let's hope none of that happens tonight. More matches in store. We've got Belgium versus Algeria. South Korea play Russia. And of course, back to Group A with Brazil versus Mexico. All that tonight and more. But first, here's Lee Tree Lin. Thank you, Audrey Raj. Hello, everybody else. Um, it's Tuesday, 17th June 2014. These are your BFM morning headlines, and I'm Lee Chui Lin. And I don't know whether it's just my luck uh, or whether this is just where the nation is at right now, but you know what? It's drama, violence, it's all non stop. We start off with the star um, who are asking the question, return of the gangs. Um, a man was shot on his way to his meat stand yesterday, not a euphemism. It has everyone asking, is this return of gangland style shootings in our country? Um, that right there is the picture of the man. That is the picture of his bloodstained skull cap. Um, like I said, no shortage of drama today. And the police are assuring us that there is no way. Ops Chantas Has is not over and that they're working day and night to ensure that nothing like this happens. Up here, like I said, no shortage of drama at all today. Uh, we have the story of another kidnapping in the ongoing saga of Sabah. A fish farmer um, has been kidnapped by armed gunmen in his farm 60km away from Lahat Datu, Utusan, Malaysia. Next, with a running theme throughout today's papers as well, they're not sure whether they want to be happy about the World Cup, horrified by Iraq, um, or going on about rompakan atau seludup. Um, but this is what I mean about the crime focus in today's papers. But I also want to draw your attention to this story over here about a car ridden by 11 people uh, getting into a deadly accident with four people dying. Now, this is important because, as the Malay Mail highlights, perils of foreign workers worsen. Um, the AG's report is also another big story of the day. Now, how this is related to the previous car accident was that of the 11 people crammed into a passenger vehicle, they were all Burmese workers, which shows us that the perils of foreign workers aren't you know, solely confined to the workspace or to where they live, but also to how they enter our country, to also how they get around. And up here we have mass slaughter of Iraqi soldiers, of course looking at the onslaught that Iraq is currently facing with who have been involved uh, in an execution of Iraqi soldiers that has drawn international condemnation. Like I said, because they can't seem to decide what the tone should be while the World Cup is going on, we have a story up here about Neymar going blonde. Also, Brita Harian covering, as I said, that story earlier about uh, the deadly car crash. And down here, quite appropriately, about how traffic wrongdoers will be brought to the balai. Harian Metro, you see what I'm saying? You know where I'm going with this. World Cup and horror, that's where the front pages are today. We have a truly horrifying story here about a man and his wife involved in a deadly accident. Uh, she was rolled over by a truck and he proceeded to pick up um, all the pieces of her body left on the ground, um, stuffing it into plastic bags along with help from policemen and bystanders. I can't let this go without pointing out Kutip Daging history, classy Harian Metro. The Sun um, saying that it's time to review GLCs according to the Public Accounts Committee chairman and that usual sidebar that they've got um, which has a weird story of the day, in this case quite a happy one, Schumacher out of a coma um, as Audrey said. Good news for Germany all round. And now the New Straits Times uh, have gone with something that quite honestly is a bit confusing simply because big World Cup story, uh, Messi won Ronaldo nil, they didn't play the same match New Straits Times and nobody's pitting them against one another but you. And down here, we have the ongoing stories. 
<laughs> and down here we have the ongoing Bible story with Maya's and Jaya's combining their ISness uh, to get stuff done. Although nobody really knows what came of the meeting. So yet again, that's something that we're going to need to watch out for. But up here is the final story that I wanted to highlight today, the auditor's report. Sina Harian have gone with really comprehensive coverage um, of the AG's report with six pages being devoted to it. And over here, a question of education. And my word of the day, uh, or my phrase of the day rather, is Taoke Kambing. Because you know what? In other places where we, which we associate with gangsters, we think Colombian drug lords, shout out for you, David Bury. We think gangsters in the hood. Uh, but here, the people getting shot, Taoke Kambings. And that wraps it up for me this Tuesday. You've been watching Morning Headlines. I'm Lee Chui Lin, BFM 89.9.